Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Cancer and any cross watchers welcome. I wanna send a big thank you to each and every one of you guys for all of your love, your support. Um, it's meant so much to me um, since I started this channel. So definitely wanna send a big thank you to all of you. So let's get going on your current energy, Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? So, you're definitely trying to look at things with different perspective. I see you standing out in a crowd. You're very different when you go out. You might go out with friends um, and your style, um, your energy, it's just different. And it's so important for you to continue to foster and nurture this because this is what makes you unique, um, this authentic self. So, um, Besides learning different perspectives and going out, there's a little bit of a challenge with truth, either not speaking your truth fully or something that's hindering your throat chakra. Um, we'll talk about the blockage in a little bit. So the challenges as well in the tarot. Um, lies and deception, believing in stories, gossip or denial. Um, so as you try to piece certain perspectives, I almost want to say like there's either friends or people around you that are not fully being honest. That's what I'm picking up from that. So let's get going on your challenge. Let's see what's been challenging you guys. Please take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that don't. What's been challenging cancer? What's been challenging cancer? So I feel like you've gone through a time period um, I feel like you were involved in a situation that was not equal give and take, unrequited. Um, and I feel like you spent some time there, two years, over maybe two years, but something didn't work out. It was like a faulty foundation. And you, you almost feel like things didn't work out because it was orchestrated that way by God, but it made you make a decision. If that makes any sense. Tell me more about this challenge that didn't work out. Ooh, so somebody that we have the emperor in reverse. So somebody, some, someone that you were dealing with was very emotionally manipulative, um, narcissistic to the core, a big, big lies. And there was an ending here, Scorpio. So something ended and I feel like your angels were playing in a huge part in this uh, situation because they were watching everything happen and before you knew it, things ended. So something has ended and that's what's been in your challenge, okay? What's in the current energy for cancer? Current energy for cancer. Not communicating, um, anxious, stress. If it's not, you might have been the person you were dealing with. I feel like you guys blocked somebody on social media, on messages as well but you don't want to feel burdened. I feel like whenever you were around this person, you felt very depleted. And I feel like the last words that were spoken from you to this person were very cutting. Um, like current energy, going, feeling like going through a tower moment. So not, not really feeling like celebrating. I feel like you've, you've gone through so much emotionally um that you're really wanting to take care of yourself right now um might be an aquarius here trying to help you um gain your balance again but there's also uh an energy of patience be patient uh things will work out okay i know it might have been really hard and you might still be going through some things but be patient better things are happening okay there might be an aquarius trying to help you out um, but you just kind of are feeling defensive, like the wounded warrior, not really talking, not really giving an offer. Um, I think you're like in awe of all the things you've been through. Like, oh my goodness, all of this happened to me this year. Okay. So single, taking care of yourself, self care stuff. And really, I just feel you cold, like you're not able to give an emotional offer to anyone because of the things you've been through, but you're doing the right thing by taking care of yourself. That's important. Um, I do want to do one of these teal cards for you guys since we have the power moment and the emperor in reverse. 
actually with this cancer flower of life connect to the energetic world of our of our soul where compassion and uncon unconditional love reside you are loved unconditionally remember that always um spirit god your angels you're loved unconditionally okay let's see what's coming towards you in the near future what's coming towards okay so there's gonna be a couple of people um so, so i feel like someone from your past that was very unstable financially and emotionally and then someone more stable i feel like they're gonna bring you a love offer you have gemini energy as well but one of these offers is faulty so you're really gonna have to tap, tap into your intuition um because one of them is no bueno so you're gonna have to decide whether you keep moving forward or you stay and heal a situation that may bring um, more issues or more pain into what you've already experienced, okay? That's what's coming up. Let's see what do we have here from our success cards because I want you guys to think abundantly for this new year that's coming up. We have, oh, I overcome lack and get in touch with the source of infinite abundance of unbounded affluence i recognize the spirit is the source of infinite abundance and i understand what true wealth is true wealth is a state of detachment from wealth as well as confidence in my ability to manifest and create that's beautiful and we'll do our self-care cards self-love self-care what does cancer need to hear from this deck We have success. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So you might be receiving unexpected packages. I'm hearing abundance. Being a thoughtful steward for the mon money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more, that's when more shows up. So I feel like an increase of um, money is coming your way. Release. Sometimes the best way to grow is to simply let go. Um, and of course, our angel cards, you guys, um, with lots of love. And I really do pray that these messages resonate. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, comment, let me know within the next few weeks. So big changes are coming up in the next few weeks. Um, I don't know if you're traveling or wanting to travel. Um, perfect timing. See? Everything's going to happen at the perfect moment. No doubt about that. One more. Let go. Release and let go both came out. I am not making this up, Cancer. So let's see what we have here for let go. Um, we have... The time has come to let go of this situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be solved or even why it occurred. Relationships that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry, Source and your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then release it to heaven. If you've drawn this card, you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish and then leave the rest to your angels. All right, uh, beautiful reading. It tied up really well with all of the cards. Um, sending you guys lots of love. Thank you, you guys, for everything, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.